All right, looks like we're at the uh, top of the hour. So we'll go ahead and start getting into some content while the last few people um, trickle in. Um, first off, thanks everyone for joining today. Uh, this is our third webinar uh, Tim and I have hosted. Uh, today's topic will be uh, OS and application monitoring and we realize operations. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the agenda. Um, we'll go through an introduction. Uh, I have a little survey that I'd like for you, you all to participate in. And we'll go through uh, what native service discovery looks like in VROPS and how to set it up in your environment, as well as application and OS troubleshooting. And then we'll close with a little survey as well. And uh, as you know, uh, those of you who have worked with me before, I love questions. Um, so please use the Q&A section of the Zoom webinar uh, to be able to participate in questions, as well as uh, we'll hang out a little bit at the end of the webinar uh, to answer questions as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch um, this survey. So there's two questions in here. Um, obviously, we're talking about service discovery today. Um, so the first question I ask is what services are important to you? Um, all the services you see in the survey are services that can be captured by VROPS today. And the second question on there is how are you using VROPS um, today? So let's jump into introductions um, while you guys are answering the survey. Uh, so here's Tim and I over here to the left. Uh, I am a solutions engineer that supports your account if we haven't worked together before. And Tim and I support all of these account executives across the lower uh, Southeast region. Um, so Tim and I, if you're listening to this, like are directly aligned to your account and can help you, you know, daily emails with uh, ticket escalations to make sure that you're using the tool and getting the most value out of the tool that you can. And we focus in not only v Realize operations, which we'll focus on today, but also v Realize automation, which is our DevOps platform, and Log Insight, which is our kind of logging tool as well. So I see a lot of stuff is coming in. Um, Services-wise, looking at everyone's uh, answers, and th thank you for answering. Active Directory looks like it's really prevalent, no surprise there. IIS as well. We've got some uh, MySQL, Apache. Okay, great. So we definitely have a lot of stuff to talk about. And it looks like that most of you guys uh, currently have VROPS installed and are using it regularly. We do have some um, stratification across that question. Um, if you'd like, if you're in that place, uh, if you feel like pulling up VROPS and following along or clicking along as I, show, as I start showing you how to set this up, um, that'd be a, you know, a great option or else you can follow along. Um, as well as I'll post this uh, on my YouTube channel so you can watch it back later and set up service discovery and application monitoring um, in VROPS. All right, I'm going to go ahead and in the poll and start jumping into some of the content. Thanks so much, everyone that participated in that. So the first um, topic we're going to go into today is service discovery. Um, so service discovery was actually a new feature in VROPS 8 and it helps you discover services running in each VM as well as build relationship and dependencies among the services from different VMs. Um, using service discovery, you can view base metrics on the services you want to monitor, and you can use service discovery dashboards integrated into the tool to monitor those services. So service discovery helps you determine the kind of services running in each VM for your environment, and you can figure out which VM is part of a service, which can impact how you shut down, move a VM, look at an incident, or find the right escalation path for a problem. Um, and you can also determine uh, which VMs are used to migrate as services and work towards you know, planned outages and different infrastructure components. Um, there are 41 known services um, that can be discovered uh, through VROPS. Um, the survey that I hosted that you guys still might be seeing, um, that highlighted some of the most common ones. But I'll jump over to this tab, and here are all the supported um, services that uh, VROPS can discover. Um, here you can see a little example of, uh, you know, Apache, the, the tool has discovered nine uh, VMs, as well as when you discover services, um, you can actually uh, activate new VM troubleshooting features, um, like one-time script execution and top-end process discovery. Um, which I'll be showing you guys uh, as we demo and go through the product. But these are all the services that are, can be discovered. Um, also, before we get started, for this feature, there are certain 
you know, platforms that you need to be on to activate this. Uh, VM tools wise, you can see here um, what version of VM tools you need to have activated, um, as well as you need to be at least on VROPS uh, 8.0, ESXi 6, and vCenter Server 6 to be able to activate um, the, this feature. So um, now let's go ahead and I can show you guys how to get this set up. Um, if you'd like to activate it in your environment. So you can go ahead and press home. Um, down here, you'll see this discover services button. Um, you can click on that. It's gonna pull up uh, unknown uh, services in here. Um, you can press configure service discovery. Um, and it's gonna take you into all of your vCenters. Um, you can click on which one you'd like to activate the service discovery on. You will need to go through the process of activating for each cloud account. Actually, let me jump into this other demo environment. Um, you will need to go through the process of configuring this for each um, vCenter you have hooked up. Um, so we're gonna press configure service discovery. Let's jump into this one. It's gonna take you into the home page for that. Uh, down here, you're gonna see three tabs and you're gonna click on the service discovery button. Um, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna turn that on to enabled. Um, it by default comes disabled. Um, and then you're going to put in the Windows, you know, kind of admin username, Linux, uh, for this account. So I'm going to go ahead and put in admin. Then you can put in a password. Uh, validate connection. Let's see if that works. Yep. And then press save. And then you're going to have service um, discovery uh, configured on uh, that vCenter. A question that sometimes uh, gets my uh, uh, customers kind of confused when they're setting this up is it does take a, you know, a few hours to start to discover services and configure stuff. Um, so if you jump into here and you don't see anything discovered yet, um, you might just need to wait a few hours. And by default, when this does start working, uh, every 24 hours, uh, the tool will discover um, new services and every five minutes it will collect uh, metrics from those um, services that you have uh, configured. Um, so here you can see those common credentials that uh, we're able to put in when we're uh, setting this up. And here you can see um, that if common credentials do not work um, for these services, um, you can um, set up uh, custom credentials for each one. So now let's get into um, look at some of the stuff that we can do with services. So in this environment, we jump back here, we're going to go down to discover services. Um, here we can see um, all the services that have been discovered um, across the environment automatically. If we click on this one, for example, now we're getting into this dashboard. Um, we can see here the services that have been discovered on each VM. Um, we can see that they're authenticating from the common credentials um, that we were doing when we set up service discovery or um, these unknown credentials. Um, in setting those up, you can just uh, come up here and set those up. Um, and you can also see here that we have, um, it also highlights that it's the metrics and properties are collected on a five minute collection life cycle. So here's kind of our service discovery thing where we can see what's discovered. Um, and look and do it a little bit more. Here are some upgrade uh, considerations to have when you're working through this. Um, so if you're currently on a uh, if you realize operations uh, 7.5, uh, you can go ahead and upgrade to eight and then go through the same process that I was showing here to set it up. Um, but a few of my customers have been using the service discovery management pack. Um, this came in uh, the 7.5 um, version of the tool and was another way customers were getting some of these features in, in, our, in the earlier versions of VROPS. And if that's the case for you, uh, you can upgrade your VM tools on the environment. And then when you upgrade to uh, Realize Operations 8.0 um, service discovery will automatically be enabled because you were using it before. So now let's get into the uh, troubleshooting action. This is where we get into some of the, uh, the fun stuff and actually see um, how enabling service discovery can make an impact when troubleshooting in your environment. Uh, one of the really cool aspects of this is discovering uh, top processes um, that are in certain accounts. So here we can see um, where uh, services have been discovered. So let's take this VM and go ahead and look it up in the environment and see what top end processes are running on it. So, oh, four, five. so uh, we can see here, uh, you know, using my context clues, that this is probably going to be a MySQL um, VM. 
So if so, we just jumped into that. We're on the BM homepage, so we can see a little bit about it. The IP address. Uh, if there's any alerts running on it, um, some stuff about it. If we jump into into here, so we're in the BM section. Uh, we can see here. We can go ahead and click on uh, top and get top processes. Run that. Uh, we want to get ten top processes. Press run. Well, nice. So it's showing us uh, that the top processes. Um, running in this VM. We have VM tools running, we have Ap Apache running, we have Watchdog running. Um, so this is a quick way to pull this stuff down within VROPS without having to get into other aspects of the tool. Uh, and that's something I love about VROPS over time. It's being able to centralize a lot of your day-to-day -day work and a lot of your troubleshooting into one platform instead of having to switch between a lot of screens. Um, so, uh, you know, top in processes, fetch top processes. Um, it has uh, Windows and Linux native process reporting, and it also you can adjust the number of processes uh, shown. So let's exit that guy. Um, another thing that you can do is say you wanted to see how this uh, application is architected. Um, you can go into metrics. And right here, sometimes this will be zoomed up. So if you if you don't see it at first, um, you can uh, show down. Um, but this will show um, kind of the makeup of the environment. Um, so here we can see with this VM that we have two services that are discovered. Um, we can expand those out and see that it's a uh, SQL database and Apache in here. Um, we can click on here and we can start to pull down metrics um, for, that, for that service as well. So take a look at um, connection type, um, install path, um, ports and pull in uh, a lot of different stuff. As well as um, the tool is going to spill it out uh, application uh, diagrams for you to look at. Um, so I'm going to actually jump into another VM that when I was looking at this this morning to show you guys that feature. Three, four, zero, three, five. Nice. So here we have an application um, that the uh, that VROPS have, has built out. Um, so if we jump into here, um, we can see the application itself. We can see that it's built out two tiers for us. So if we elbow over that, press expand, um, and then we can flash out and see that uh, web server and that database server um, that it's running in the uh, relationship diagram. Nice. Um, the other feature um, that you can do is um, execute a script um, as you see over here. So if we go, into that original VM. So we can see execute script. Um, so within here, um, you can put in the uh, username and password, put in the command and execute the script within here without going, going to into the VM and SSHing into it, which is a new feature um, in the tool here. You can see some more um, detail on it. So some ideas of stuff that you can do with this feature is you can um, restart or kill processes straight within VROPS. Um, you can set local OS passwords and access, you can run diagnostic tools, um, and you can run any shell, batch, PowerShell, Python, or other script that's applicable to um, something that you're doing. Um, so this is, a, uh, this is a new feature that came out in the 8.0 version of the tool as well. And you could actually, I'll show you in a, later in the webinar where you can actually execute, how you can actually execute a script and then um, set it up to run an alert um, in VROPS um, based upon something that you get from running a script. So those are kind of the two new troubleshooting features that you can do by configuring uh, service discovery, um, monitoring top end processes, as well as uh, executing uh, one-time script execution. Also, um, those of you that are uh, aware of uh, dashboards and are using dashboards, um, there's also a uh, widget uh, when you're creating dashboards that I'll show you quickly, um, where you can add the top end processes on a particular uh, VM uh, to a dashboard. So if we press edit dashboard, um, you can go in and here you can see uh, there's a top end um, processes widget you can add into dashboard. So when you click on a particular VM, it'll pull the top end processes into the dashboard. So let's jump in back home. Yes. 
Um, so I'll allow a little bit on service discovery. Uh, next, I'm going to jump into uh, application uh, monitoring. So that's down here in monitor applications. I know on last month's webinar, uh, we talked about uh, Blue Medora, uh, which is another kind of add-on to VROX that's terrific for helping monitor applications. Um, this is definitely the lighter weight version of monitoring applications that's built into VROX um, that works using telegraph agents. And the metrics and some of the stuff that you get within Blue Medora is much more detailed and application aware. But this is a great place to get started, especially if you own the advanced or enterprise uh, version of the tool already. Um, so again, I, a centralized place for um, application monitoring. Um, recently, we added uh, NT, NTPD, Java, and WebSphere as also applications uh, within here. There are 20 in total supported. So here you can see um, some examples. And here's some down here that haven't been discovered yet. And you can also integrate this with the custom scripts that I was just um, showing you. So um, quickly before we get into this, I'm going to show you guys how to how you would set up um, application monitoring. Uh, the first thing that you would need to do is um, go in and uh, activate the management pack for application discovery. Um, so uh, you can go into administration, repository. And when this pulls up, there should be one in here for um, application monitoring. Um, so down here, it's already been configured and uh, set up. Um, but if it hasn't, um, you just need to set it up uh, by going in here and clicking to activate. You would go into here. And then um, you can go to monitor applications, configure application monitoring, and start setting up the uh, remote collectors um, to monitor services. So if you press download, I'm just going to download an OVA for you um, that you can then upload um, into the VM to start to collect um, these application uh, metrics. Again, um, this is this does have a telegraph agent associated with it to be able to collect, um, whereas Blue Medora does not have an agent um, associated with it for its application uh, metrics. Let's go back into home. So here you can see that the applications that have been discovered. Um, so if we click on to here, um, we're going to go into this manage agent section and you can go up into here um, and set up, um, you know, agents with login access. So they're able to collect metrics uh, from this particular um, application. Um, so next I'm going to show you guys how you can do um, custom script. Uh, monitoring um, to be able to create um, your own metric. Um, so here you can see that we have uh, this, you know, this Java application. If we click down here, uh, we can go ahead and put in um, custom script. Uh, one example, uh, say that if you wanted to do this, and you can see up here, um, you could say run a simple bash script to check for security patches in a Ubuntu VM and then pass that metric into vRealize operations where we could create an alert to let us know if any patches are available for our operating system. Um, this could help you centralize your Linux packs management into vRealize operations and also let you correlate uh, patching with other metrics collected by vRealize operations. So um, say if you integrated this in together, um, you could patch the system when it's least busy or uh, when our app is least busy as reported by application monitoring features in vRealize operations. Um, so if we uh, wanted to set that up, for example, um, so here you can see that it's uh, returning six um, as um, the number of patches that are available. Um, so what we could do is we could put in, um, say, a display name to set this up. So we could say, you know, security patches available, and then we could put in the file path um, to that script. So stage and um, save that. And I uh, don't have admin credential to be able to do this, but um, and I'll drop this um, in the uh, chat as well, click like out of it actually. There's a great blog post that goes through um, this example um, to be able to uh, set up custom script monitoring and then set up an alert um, that you can see down here to show um, what the results of that are in your environment and correlate that with the rest of your environment. 
Um, so another way that you can use uh, application monitoring and service discovery to be able to make an impact when you know troubleshooting and you know monitoring your environment.